there once again, people. Welcome back to Seeking Shamblers. This time around, we're going to be checking out Base by Felipe G, which you'll happen to recognize as one of the many levels from um, the days of Aftershock, which we basically are just converting over um, to our standard thing. Now including actual documentation. Uh, yes, um, this one actually has uh, documents with it, so that's good. Anyway, it's made by Felipe Garcia, no surprise there, but I never really got to credit him before because, you know, at the time, it was really kind of, um, I only had the actual level itself. And you couldn't tell who Felipe G was exactly, so you had to kind of wing it. Anyway, Q Palace, um, was the other level that he made, Q Palace by Felipe G. And, yeah, that's basically all that there is really to say about that. Anyway, this level is set up to look like an army base. This is by far the best level I have ever made for anything. It is as good as all the other Quake maps out there. My god, does he, uh, you know, have, um... He's pretty humble, isn't he? <laughs> for basically what is essentially one rum. That, that's basically what this map is, people. It's one rum, so yeah. Anyway, it was designed using Quack and MS-DOS Edit, a deadly combo. Um, if you know of any bugs, please check it out and tell him. Um, he doesn't know of any himself. Um, it's been tested. More starts have been added and whatnot. So I guess this isn't the first, first version of Cubase. Don't know what the earlier one is. But um, anyway, yes, we're single player. Enjoy the lighting and water. So, he says it's single player. I know that's probably being sarcastic, but he said it's single player. So, now I have to write it as a freaking single player level because this guy doesn't know how to write, um, that's not. And yeah, that seems to be a common thing with him because it seems like we had the exact same issue occur with Q-Palace. So luckily, after this, we'll have brought closure to him and won't have to deal with the whole rewriting of a freaking walkthrough that we already kind of did. Um, anyway, with that in mind, let's see here, it took about 5 hours and 50 minutes to make, um, blah blah blah, lots of different stuff, he includes a Dalias based, um, stuff that prevents you from distributor or whatnot, you have to use map, all that, family adventures BBS, and ivory tower BBS, so two sites this was on, because BBS! Yeah, okay, let's load this thing up, because I really don't have much to really talk about, besides this being... A rather interesting early level. I think this is one of the earlier, um... Mm. I think this level came out in July or something. Wait, this is the Aftershock Toolbox. The Aftershock version. I guess I didn't transfer over the file and overwrite it. Whoops, Daisy. But yeah, at least you get to see a comparison of what the textures used to look like in the Aftershock version. Um, so yeah. Now let's load up the regular version of Cubase. And here we are. As said, same geometry, all that, as always in Aftershock, but this time around, there's an it base look. It's it basey, people. It has a monorail train. Choo choo, baby, choo choo. Okay, so we got some armor up there, but we can't get to it from this side. Um, gotta have to find our way up there. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this level. Let's see, is there anything around like the edges? Huh? Doesn't look like it. There is a thing of water in the middle that allows elevation up and down. Yeah, you can grab the double barreled shotgun here. You have your good old fashioned nail gun sitting out here smack dab in the middle of the room because why not? You got your ability to get stuck in the level, of course, that's always exciting. Um, super nail gun over here. We got your stinking super nail guns over here. Here's a monorail set. Monorail goes to yellow armor. Because I just managed to fall off it because somehow I managed to fall off the most basic level design. And yeah, don't go towards the middle. You get stuck. There's nothing up there anyway. It, it's just kind of pointless. Yeah, it's pointless. Okay, let's see here. Let's go this way. Get some yellow armor because yellow armor. And then we have this structure, which this structure has a way in over here. Because, you know, one little doorway is the entire way of this thing. Oh, yeah, and this is the one that has, like, water elevators. 
outside of water elevator land. Dark hour, you know? Um, there's a grenade launcher nearly blended in with the texture, but there we are. A rocket launcher up top? Probably. Let's go up there and grab that rocket launcher that's obviously up here. Where am I? Kind of lost. Okay, and here we are. Rocket launcher on top, I said. Gather the random garbage. It's a share base level, so there's no thunderbolt or any of that. Um, very simple, very straightforward. Let's rocket jump up here. Yes, we can. There's no point to being up here, but I want to do it anyway. Plus, you can easily dominate the map from this position. Pretty much just keep shooting people. That's kind of the thing about one red maps. You grab the rocket launcher and just keep spamming people. Anyway, that's really all that's really there to be said about this one. I said it's really not that um, fabulous or really that noticeable. It's kind of an almost entirely forgettable what I did in the Aftershock version. It's entirely forgettable here, but we had to do the conversion. Had to be done eventually, so here we are. Anyway, with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure, I guess I could say. And I'll see you all, well, next time.